baby. What's going on? It's nothing. Hey, what is it? I don't know what these people want from me. I don't just, I don't know. Hey, you know that it's a very tough transition for CEOs promoted from within the company. If you were brought in from outside, it would have been a bit different because at least they will allow you time to settle in and they will take time to get to know you. Does Daniel and Harold expect me to believe in everything they say? Simply because they supported me during my appointment? <laughs> Babe, you and I know that this disagreement between you and them was bound to happen. Of course, I knew we disagreed on a few things, mm -hmm. but not this fast. Just within a few weeks, there are only situations that make it clear to me that my vision for the company does not align with theirs. Good morning, mommy. Good morning, darling. Good morning, Uncle Ray. And how are you? Oh, you sleep good? Oh, you ready? Okay, go. Your breakfast is all set. Go check your levels, all right? Okay. Be quick. Baby. You are the CEO. Whatever decision you make is what matters. Okay? I know you. You're a good man. And you definitely make good decisions. So forget about them. Those emotional ones, they don't matter. Okay? Smile. <laughs> Why don't you come and work for us? Hey, come on. You're smart. Intelligent, beautiful, and you're always right. <laughs> I like where I work. Thank you. <laughs> well, I love you. I love you too. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'll drop Kendra off and um, I'll see you later. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Have a great day. Yeah, kiss, kiss. Mm. Mm. All right, Check, see there's you later. a lipstick somewhere there. I'll Wipe it off. Kendra, baby, hurry up. Let's go. Look, my problem is that you want to micromanage my show. Look, I am not going to talk about topics that do not spark my own interest. I am not going to be all over the place. Today I am talking about politics. Tomorrow I'm talking about product reviews. I need to stick to a niche. And I have one, but the problem is you're not interested. Look. I need to talk about topics that are engaging and shareable, okay? I need to talk about topics that incite valuable conversations. Fine, let's talk later. Wait, what's going on? Just because he's sponsoring the show, he wants me to do whatever he wants, but I'm not going to let that happen. I need some focus. So what does he want you to do now? He wants me to talk about everything. Look, no matter how versatile a TV show is, it still has to have a key focus. Well, that's true. Sweetheart, you have to see him. I can't stand him. <laughs> Listen, his money is what is making the launch of your program possible. And don't forget the fact that he owns the TV platform as well. You can't keep avoiding them. Well, except if he's looking for something else, and that is when I would come after him with my... <laughs> um, I know this means a lot for you, but don't allow him to sap your joy. Owning a TV program of your own has always been what you wanted. But it's not supposed to be as exhausting. I know, so don't let it be, okay? I want to be this way forever. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Oh, in that case, let me start taking off my clothes and <laughs> stick them to you. <laughs> so I have to go to work, okay? And I'll be heading to the studio. Oh, really? That's good. Okay. Which will be after. I will. You too. All right. All right. Take care. All right, Bolin.
baby. Welcome, mommy. Has <laughs> uh, your dad called yet? Yes, it is. Mm. Nice okay. Have you packed your kit? Yes, mom. Your needles, insulin. Mm-hmm. You sure? And dad has a pack too. <laughs> baby, <laughs> please promise me that you'll be checking your levels yourself. You know your dad forgets sometimes. And that is TV girlfriend's always busy. <laughs> so please promise me that you'll be doing it yourself. Okay? I will, mom. Hmm? I promise. That's my girl. All right. I miss you. <laughs> Come here. Come here. I miss you too. Oh, <laughs> well, you know you have to let me go now. <laughs> I don't want to let you go. <laughs> No, 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 no. Listen. Look, if you're suggesting that I pick a permanent co-host, then the answer is no. Like we did agree, we said we can bring in hosts from time to time. <laughs> Listen, the show is called Timeline with Chelsea. Chelsea and not Timeline with two ladies. Hello, baby. No, no, no. Listen, you cannot do that. Look, I'll send in the shadow, okay? Yes, I'll send in the, sh the shadow and then I'll send Dubem a message. Oh, goodness. I'll have to get back to you on that. Yes, I'll, I have to get back to you on that because I cannot accept that right now. No, no, no. It's not going to work. It will not work that way. Okay, I'm listening. They've all dropped their phones at home and left the house. How is that even possible? What do you want me to say? You're calling, they're not picking. I can understand Kendra dropping her phone somewhere in the house, but I don't understand why Austin wouldn't pick my calls to let me know why Kendra's school will call me to ask why she's not in school. Babe, you've called enough time. Why don't you wait till they call you back? Just relax. Something is wrong. And I must know now. Okay. <clears throat> Keep calling. Listen, she talk 
to her. She's been calling non-stop. I'm not talking to her. Look, if you don't talk to her, she'll keep calling. Like I just would no. Now she's calling me. No, you can choose to ignore too. Also, she can run down my battery, right? <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Yeah, hi, Chelsea. How are you doing? Well, very well. Thanks for asking. Um, can you please uh, pass the phone to Austin or Kendra? Uh, the thing is, Austin had a bad day today, so he's actually not talking to anyone. And Kendra? She's sleeping. Chelsea, Kendra's school called me today. And I've been calling you guys to find out why she wasn't in school and nobody has been picking. What's going on over there? Hello, Chelsea. Um, uh, Nancy, okay, um, Kendra had an episode today. It the incident shook up Austin a bit, but he's fine. Kendra is fine as well. She's sleeping right now, so everything is fine. Wait, wait, wait. She didn't check her sugar level? No, she didn't. Oh my God, oh my God. Were you guys around when this happened? Yes, we... Oh yes, you got carried away and you forgot you had a sick child with you in the house? No, 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 we, we didn't. It, it wasn't like that. No. You, you know what? You know what, Chelsea? It's okay. Thank you for picking my call. Thank you. You're satisfied, right? But Daddy, you are very okay now. Yes, I do. But you know... You need to help me. I need help to make sure you're okay. Mm. I'm sorry I didn't check my sugar level this morning. And I didn't eat well. I didn't take my insulin. I should have reminded you. I helped you. I'm sorry too. Daddy. Is it possible that I don't take it sometimes? Like, I Imagine just what happened this morning. Yes, I know that um, having to take your insulin, checking your sugar level from time to time, makes you feel somewhat different from your friends. I'm the only one that has to inject myself all the time. Kendra, my love. I thought we have spoken about this. Listen, your reality is different from their reality. Okay, Dad. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful next time. And stop saying, Dad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should be the one saying I am sorry. Okay? So, how about... Chelsea, I have to see Kendra. But I told you that she's fine. I know, but she's my child. I know her condition. I can't sleep this night if I don't see her. Fine, she's in her Thank home. you. That was dead on. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy! Nancy, mm -hmm. you came all the way. I had to. You weren't picking my calls. Oh. How are you? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. You're yeah, okay. Yeah. How did you know? Your school called. Thank you. Thank you. Your school called. Phoebe, I'm so worried. Eh? Please promise me that you will try for us, okay? Mm -hmm. eh? Are you sure? Promise, mommy, you will try. I will. Hmm? Mommy, are you, are you staying here? It's already getting late. 
Maybe. Maybe. Um, I'll have to call Uncle Ray first. Yeah? Okay. Well, before I do that, let me speak to your dad. Okay. Please so we can sleep here together. <laughs> okay, my name. What happened? You already know what happened. Then why didn't you pick my calls? Because it's been long I saw my child shake. I mean, I've not been able to function ever since. Then how do you think I felt not having any assurance from you that she's okay? Besides, how, how did you manage to get uh, all, all of this? The school called me. So don't start telling me I'm monitoring you, okay? Don't. Austin, I called you countless times just to know what happened. All you had to do was to pick up my calls and tell me that she's okay. So, so you can start lecturing me? Oh, please, I was not in that mood. Austin, I don't care what, what mood you were in, okay? All I needed to know was that my daughter was doing okay. So that is why you had to come all the way at this time of the night? And so if something happens to you, it will be on the least of the terrible things I've done in my life. Austin, I couldn't sleep. Oh, really? Yes. Really? Yes. So you, you, so you know how I felt, too. Sick. Did you hear us? Yes, I did. I'm sorry, okay? It's okay, Mom. Okay. Hello? I'm fine. Um... I'll be staying over with Kendra. I know I had to. I had to see her. Yeah. We'll talk about it when, when I come back tomorrow. Okay. Bye. He's not happy. Nope. But right now, you're the only person that matters in the world. <laughs> I'm really happy you're right here. I know. Me too. said you shouldn't go see her. What if something happened to you? Nothing happened to me. I'm sure you're planning to go that late as much as possible, right? If I have to. You know she's my only child. I'm not arguing that with you. Yes, I know. But you are my woman. I too, I need attention. I understand, baby. I do. But please, be patient with me. My patience is running out. Nancy, it is. Babe, you know, you know my condition. You should be more understanding. I should be understanding. Austin is Kendra's father, right? 
-hmm. Let him have his child and let me have my woman. Is that difficult to under like, Is that difficult to do? Wait. Look, I'm tired of all this, okay? I'll see you when I'm back. Jeez. I'm fine. Hey, listen. Look. You'll remember better next time, okay? So don't kill yourself about what happened. Okay? Hmm, why do you make it sound like it is just my problem and not yours? What do you mean by that? Can you listen to yourself? Can you listen to yourself speak? Austin, I am trying to make you feel better. By making me feel like this is just my own problem and not yours. I mean, never mind. You definitely get to figure it out. But isn't this supposed to be our problem? You and I, our problem. Are you saying that I'm not involved in your daughter's life? Are you? Austin, listen, don't you ever say that to me again. Listen, you are with me, Chelsea. And Kendra should be important to you too. And who says she's not already? Now, how do you explain her trying to connect with you? Instead, you're always busy. Austin, you know what you're saying is not true. No, really? Now tell me, what is Kendra, my daughter, suffering from? Diabetes. I see. What type? Well, I don't necessarily know the type of diabetes, but I know that she takes medication. Time one. Can you just imagine? Just imagine. How do you get close to her when you don't even know her? Just a different day Same people Same story Same little girl Just another day Right here in the middle Every day the same struggle Though I may be feeble I'm strong enough to you can hear me listen to my silence i know that you okay baby um let's go back to our book reading okay yay i like it when work is not too hectic for you <laughs> okay um so open um the book to chapter 14 15 chapter 15 yes Chapter 14. Oh, okay. I knew it was one of them. Yes. Okay. 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 I'm ready. Trapped in the cold, stifling small town, 15 year old Alisa knows why she is desperately in need for her grandmother. Her words to her, no matter how slow, is therapeutic. And. <laughs> her kindness makes up for the looks. People say that she looks like her 
grandmother, and that often makes her wonder if she would turn out ugly when she is old and grey. And go. But she still has many, many years to worry about that. Right now, her mind is filled with the image of the last time she tried to look as brave as her friends before the whole class and... As much fun as it is, we also worked because Aubrey Tompkins, the choir director, loved fine music. He kept... What are you doing? I'm eating. Eating what? Uh, just a quick sugar snack. Mm. Auntie Chelsea, I need that. I checked my sugar level. Eat that, you're diabetic. Chelsea. Listen, Kendra, today is not the day you're going to argue with me, okay? Because I am sick of your father making me look like I don't care. So eat up and stay alive. Where did you keep my candy? It's in the trash. You don't know what you are doing. Kendra! I thought I was helping her. I mean, she needs this quick sugar snacks whenever our sugar level gets low. Austin, I didn't know. I mean, that was exactly what she was trying to explain to you. Look, I was a little upset, okay? Upset about what? About you insinuating that I am not interested in your child. I mean, does it look like you are? I mean, you could easily Google this thing. Google, Google. Or you call your doctor friends. I know you have them. I mean, you call them to tell you what to do. <sighs> I don't seem to know how to get it right with you. That's not the point. Okay? Now, we've been trying to get Kendra to, to check herself and do the dates for. She, I mean, she does these things before us, in front of you. But yet, you still... It seems you still haven't gotten a hold of it. I'm sure it makes me automatically not interested in her well-being, right? That's not my point. I mean, if you love me, Kendra's condition should be taken seriously. That's my point. <sighs> Go, Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Austin. What exactly happened? Yeah, I don't know what to say to you right now. But she's okay. I've been checking her sugar level every 15 minutes. The school said she had no food. That wasn't what happened. Then what happened? Look, I, I, don't, I don't want to talk about it, okay? Are you kidding me? You can't talk about it? Our daughter fainted in school days after she had a seizure and you can't talk about it? I'm going to bring my child. Look. Um. Kendra, I'm really sorry, okay? Look, I only knew that we needed to get your sugar level down. I did not know that sometimes we need your sugar level to go up. Auntie Chelsea, but you see my dad give me candy bar sometimes. Well, I, I only thought he was trying to indulge you. I need it sometimes. My sugar level was low. When I needed those candy bars. Martin! Martin! I think your mother is here. Oh, how? The school must have called her because I didn't. I know how worried she gets. I'm really sorry, okay? Um, it's fine. Good afternoon, Mommy. How are you, baby? Good afternoon. What happened? Um, I, che okay? I checked my sugar level and it was low. So mm -hmm. I took some of the remaining candy. And mm -hmm. Auntie Chelsea took it away from me and threw them in the dustbin. 
But she gave me her salad to eat. What? I, I don't understand. Why would she do that? She thought she was helping me. Helping you? How, how is she helping you? She's been dating your father for a while now. And she still has no clue about your condition. I don't, I don't understand. Mommy, she said she's very sorry. At least you're okay, my darling. I'm so happy. I was worried. But why didn't you just take your glucagon? It's pre-mixed for you for a reason. Eh? We ran out of it. And I didn't have enough money on me to buy such sugar snacks. You ran out of what? There was no glucagon left. Austin! 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 How dare you? How dare you? You promised me you will always have glucagon in this house. Do you know what it means for her to go out there knowing she can fall anywhere without anyone to help her? Huh? I mean, calm down. I mean, we ran out of this stuff and I had to rush. How do you even wait to run out? How? Do you know how many times we've almost lost her? I, mean, I need you to just keep quiet. Stop shouting. No, I won't. The only candy bar that she had was taken away from her. She walked out of this house without money to buy something that contains sugar. She had nothing on her that could help her with her low sugar. And you expect me to keep quiet and be calm. Listen, I know how this looks already, okay? So stop. No, you don't. Austin, you don't care. But what would you accuse me of not caring? She is my daughter. No, you're acting like she's not. You don't care. I am disappointed in you, Austin. I mean, what do you take me for? What do you take me for? An irresponsible father. That's what I take you for. This is my daughter for crying out loud. And you're joking with her life. Just a different day Same people Same story Same little girl Just another day I am taking her You will do no such thing Not today You have to wait till it's your turn this weekend We will see Sorry. What is it? Why are you sad? I hate noise. I hate it when you people fight. It's okay, baby. Come on. I'm sorry, okay?
I couldn't bring her home. Kendra, what's that special meal you say you wanted again? Uncle Ray is listening. <laughs> um, curry chicken sauce. That's my girl. <laughs> um, we can eat out. Um, it's not your call though. Um, it's not your call as well. She's here. So. Okay, Kendra, can you decide? Um, do you want to um eat in or we go out? Um, uh, can we do both? I thought I was supposed to cook for you. <laughs> Mommy, please don't deny me. Okay, I won't, my baby girl. <laughs> so, um, everything will be ready before I pick you up, okay? Mm, okay. Thank you, Mommy. Love you. I love you too, darling. Thank you, Uncle Ray. Yeah. Thank you, Kendra. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take, take, take your phone. You saw clearly I was busy yet. You came here with the phone. Cheers. Bye, Kendra. Take care of yourself, okay? I will. Alright. Then I have to go now. Mom is waiting for me outside. Oh, that's right. I mean, she's impatient already. <laughs> uh, I already drop your things in the car. Okay, thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you for my life. Thank you for my parents' life. We thank you for everything you've done for us. We thank you for the shelter. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the clothes. We thank you for my health. I will say your name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. But I will thank you for everything you've done for my family so far. And I continue to ask and pray that you bring them back together. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. How far now? You said one week. And it's been two weeks already. I have customers waiting for the goods. Are you for real? When are you clearing it? See, I'll not use you again. Bye-bye, no. bye-bye. Good morning, my darling. How are you? I'm fine. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. But I need a drink and stuff. You do? Did you check your sugar level? Yes, it's low. Go, 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 go and get one chocolate bar from the fridge, okay? Okay. And remember to check 15 minutes after you've eaten. Talk to you about something. Oh. I am keeping you. You mean you don't want me to go back to dad? No. 
if after all these years, he still doesn't know how to take care of you, I'm going to have you stay with me. But he's not going to be happy about it. I know. But do you want me to tell him that I want to stay with you? No, you don't have to say anything. Don't worry, I will figure it out. I will say something to him that will make him see that you need to stay with me. Mommy, I like staying here with you. But maybe you should discuss it with him in a way that you will feel happy about it. Hmm. Your dad never agrees with anything I say. But it's okay. I will talk to him. Hmm? Or maybe I should talk to him. No, 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 no. I don't want you to talk to him. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of your midterm break. It's already here. So you end up staying with me. That way you have nothing to say. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> Mommy is smart, eh? <laughs> I know. All of it is just What's up? She's still not picking up. I think she blocked me. It's not even connected at all. Listen, babe, look, just take it easy. Chelsea, I need to see my child. I need to see my child. Baby, it's okay. Did you see them? <sighs> the gate was locked. Honey, listen to me. She cannot keep Kendra forever. Kendra loves you and she will come looking for you. So are you now saying that I should not take part in my child's growth simply because Nancy feels I'm not capable of taking care of her? I mean, this is the same reason we divorced. It feels like she was the only one available to take care of her. Well, I wasn't. She accused me of being cold. Well, yes, back then or somewhat right. But I am trying. Chelsea, I am. Baby, I know. I know. You don't understand. You don't. Kendra changed my life. She makes me happy. Why will Nancy want to take her away from me? Why? Mommy, please. Please, no, Mommy. Kendra. 
Hmm. Andrew, I've told you. Your dad needs to know that he can lose you. Okay? He knows that already. Just don't block him and pick his call. And say what? <laughs> Baby girl, your father needs to wake up. Alright? He has woken up already. Please just call him back. Fine, fine, it's okay. <laughs> Hello. But Nancy, why? Austin, all I did was I, I want to talk to my daughter. Dad. Hello, Daddy. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, Daddy, are you crying? I miss you. I miss you, baby. I miss you too, Dad. When are you coming over? Yes, first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> See you tomorrow then. I love you, Dad. I love you too, my baby. <laughs> are you happy now? Thank you. <laughs> Anything for you, my baby. <laughs> Shelton. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Nancy, why are you so weak? I am wicked. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. Really? Mm-hmm. Why is it difficult for you to go past things in the past? Why? What has the past got to do with what's happening now? Look, I'm trying to be part of my child's life, but yet you are frustrating me. I'm frustrating you. <laughs> Austin, we divorced because you made me take care of Kendra all by myself. You made me feel like I was the one who made her diabetic when you were busy gallivanting around for years. I mean, I was lost in the past. But now I am available. Can't you get it? You are available now. <laughs> oh, because you've started dating Chelsea. So all of a sudden you want Kendra in your life so you can have some sense of achievement. No, no, no. no. Come off it. I mean, come off it. That's not what this is all about. What is it about? People change. People really change. Have you? Have you changed? Watching Kendra grow changed me. Well, I regret not being part of it. I've, I regret those moments I was not around. But trust me, I want to be part of my child's life now. Please allow me. Austin, I need to know and I need you to show me that you can take care of her. I can. I know what I need to do and I am prepared for it. Listen, I am taking my child today. And it's best you don't try to stop me, else you and Charlie Bowles will gather in this your apartment. Mm -hmm. Yes, you just watch me. Dad. Yes, sweetheart. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, go get your bags. 
چرا در ایتس کو خواهد چکنید؟ چرا در ایتس Okay. I decided to give you guys some space. Of course, I knew you can. What's going to do? He took her away from me. And every time he takes her, I have a terrible feeling that something bad will happen. Wait. Hey, hey, hey. I know you're worried. It's only normal. But she'll be fine, okay? I have something in mind for us today. Mm -hmm. Kendra is not here. It's just you and I. Let me treat you on your lunch. Let's go inside, dress into something nice, okay? Just you and I, let's do something fun. I'm not in the mood. No, I'm not. I'm not in the mood. Hey, babe, please, come on. Baby, it's just you and I. It's just you and I, at least. It's... Oh, okay, what do you want? As you can see, I've succeeded in bringing her here. So it's up to us to succeed in keeping her here. Austin, yes, I'm truly sorry. That's all right. That's fine. Let's make it work. You know, she means everything to me. I know. Hi. Hi. 
I brought um, insulin videos and the record. And why would you have to do that? Uh, is it that you think I don't know my way to the doctors? Or that I can't afford to get these drugs? I'm just trying to help. What is wrong with you? What's your problem? What did I do wrong? I just felt that if you have all you need, I'll be more at ease. Oh really? And who told you I don't have all that I need? You ran out of something the other time. Remember. Uh, look here, woman. Listen. I mean, don't think you're the only one who loves Kendra. Okay? I mean, you still have other children of your own. I would advise that you, you reserve this love for them. I can I mean, have other children. What? Austin, I can't have other children. I don't understand. I have some issues with my womb and I think that's why we and I are not married yet. That can't be true. When he gave me this ring, we had 60 days to wed. And that's when we started all the medical testing and we found out about my situation. Austin has been way over 365 days and Ray is not talking about wedding anymore. Uh, um, I'm sorry. I, I never knew about this. Ray is a good man to me. He's very kind and nice to me and Kendra. I know he won kids of his own, but he hates surrogacy and he wouldn't even hear about adoption. Look, I, I never imagined this happening, how much more happening to you. Austin, please. Promise me, you will take good care of Kendra. You can have other children of your own, and I can't. Kendra means the world to me. She's the only child I have. Please promise me you take care of her, please. Same place, same page, same prayer, just a different day. Since you woke up, what is the matter? Mm. Nancy can no longer have children. What? Same people. How? She, she's Same still very young. She asked complications with her womb. Mm. Gosh. No wonder she's so extra with Kendra. I wonder why the aggression in recent times. I never knew she was just looking out for Kendra, making sure that nothing happens to her. Simply because. Kendra is all she's got. Right here in the middle, <sighs> every day the same struggle. Though I may be <sighs> feeble, I'm strong enough to pray. I know that you can hear me. Listen to my silence. I know that you can see Hello? me. Hello, Austin. Hello, Nancy. Yeah, Kendra is fine. How are you? Oh, okay. I'm I'm fine. Mm, you can come be Kendra. Austin, wow. That means a lot to me. But, like you said, I'm not the only one that loves her. I need to teach myself that. Mm, a day or two is fine with me. I mean, she's better off with you. This is because of yesterday. Um, 
I'm happy you told me. I know better now. Thank you so much. I'll pick her later in the day. Okay, I'll get her ready. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Wow. <laughs> Austin, what hmm? did you just do? The only thing that makes me happy, that makes me feel okay right now. Giving up the opportunity of being with your daughter does not make you stop, feel okay. Stop, 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 okay. I mean, don't make it sound horrible. How is this not horrible? You're also denying me the opportunity of really getting close to her. Chelsea, listen. Before I met you, I was never around. Walk took me everywhere, and I enjoyed it. Nancy practically raised Kendra all by herself. And when I came back finally to settle, all I wanted was just to bond with my daughter. You know, stay steady. And we're part of our life. Which you are doing so well. Chelsea. The only reason I can leave things to having a child. Is simply because. Nancy never gave up. Even without my support. And now that I can give her any kind of support. Why wouldn't I? Fine. Do whatever you like. Chelsea, come on. Yes. Are you okay? No, I am not. But I have to keep you alive for your mother since she cannot have any more children. Kendra. What do you mean by she can't have any more children? Well, um, look, look. I only meant that, you know, you are a special child and you know, you're the only one she has. Okay? That's just what you mean by my mom can't have any other children. Come on, don't worry about it. Listen, it was just a grammatical error. Okay? Listen, I just meant that you're the only one she has. That's why that's why I said it that way, okay? I'm sorry. Listen, just enjoy your special abuse, which you love so much. Okay? Don't worry about it. It was just an error. Okay? Just enjoy your meal. Okay? Okay. Hello? Hi, Kendra. What? What did you just say? Mistakenly voiced what you said about Nancy to Kendra. I'm sorry. You did what? I'm so sorry. Look, I, I heard Kendra talking to her mom, okay? So. It's possible that, eh? Uh... Okay, listen, listen. Look, let me just talk to her mom and to her Um, 
Chelsea, why would you say anything to my daughter? Why? I understand Austin not keeping it to himself, but why would you? I am very sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. You're sorry. No, you can't just be sorry. Why would you say that to my daughter? Why would you tell her something that I am meant to be telling her? Why would you do that to me, Chelsea? It was a mistake. I was upset about something. I didn't mean it, okay? I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Are you kidding me? How could you take away something so important to me just like that? How? Oh, okay, it's alright. Please, let me see your private. Please, let's see private. Um, I'm sorry, Toma. I told you that in confidence. And that is why I am saying sorry. Listen, Chelsea was there when I called you to come pick up Kendra. I had to explain to her. But I never knew she was going to tell Kendra about it. Why would she say anything to Kendra? Why? I wasn't even ready to discuss that with her yet. Why would she do that? I am sorry, okay? Austin. I am not dying. Why are you saying that? That look in your eyes. You have this look that is saying that you want to give me everything I need before I die. And I'm not dying. Nancy, you remember when we were married? You always said you wanted a house full of kids. Kendra is more than enough for me. Thank you for Kendra. And I'm sorry for those times I was absent. I'm sorry that I didn't appreciate all your effort at putting all of this together. If I have the opportunity of doing this again, I would love to do it. Even better. Austin, wow. Wow. It means a lot hearing this. Thank you. <laughs> and it actually makes me feel more comfortable, um, you know, allowing Kendra stay with you now. <laughs> what did you just do? Have let me talk to her. I'll have to deal with her many more times because of Kendra. So why don't I start now? I mean, why did you have to tell Kendra anything at all? Why? Oh, what were you expecting? That she was not going to tell her mother anything at all? I was actually expecting her not to. You should have considered the closeness between her and her mother. Austin, I'm sorry. Okay. That's the problem. You're always sorry. Sorry for so many things. I mean, can you be less sorry for once? <sighs> you know what? I, I need to think. Okay? We'll go home. Austin, your ex-husband, about our situation, and he told his girlfriend. What are you trying to do, Nancy? Make me a laughing stock? No, no. No. Then why do you take our private business outside? I didn't mean to. It just came out of my mouth. I see you intend to make me a fool. You tend to make me a fool in front of your ex-husband. That's what you're trying to do. No, no, Ray, no. 
Austin just feels bad for me. Feels bad for you? Feel bad? Why would he feel bad for you when I'm here? Why? That's what I'm trying to do to our relationship. What are you saying? Stop going to see your ex-husband. He's your ex for a reason. Stop going to see him so we can have peace in this house. Right here in Stop it. Every day the same struggle. Though I may be feeble, I'm strong enough to pray. Father Lord in heaven, I I've come to you to ask that you bring my family back together, oh Lord. But I don't like the way they fight all the time. And if it is your will for me to be healed, oh Lord, Father, heal me and let your will be done in Jesus' mighty name. Father, bring my family back. I miss my dad. I miss my mom. I miss them together. Please restore our home, oh Lord. Restore our home, oh Lord. Let us be one happy family again. Father, I know you can do this, oh Lord. Please, please hear my prayers, oh Lord. Help me, Lord, please. Mistakes I made with Kendra, okay? I'm so sorry. And I miss you. Listen, I'm not angry at you. It's just that I have a lot on my mind. Baby, come on. Look, this weekend, I want us to spend some time together. <laughs> I'm tired, okay? Oh. I'm tired. I'm so tired, right? Good morning, Ray. Hi, Austin. Can we talk? Sit down. I'm going to be soon. Sure. I have been thinking about you and I don't know what to do. My heart has been racing ever since we kissed. I don't know what's going on. Austin, we didn't kiss. Your lips simply touched mine. Yes, but it, it felt so special. I don't know about that. I... I miss kissing you. I mean, I miss every part of you. Don't tell me... You haven't been missing me too. Every day, I think about 
when we started and how inseparable we were and how we destroyed our beautiful family. Listen, I, I don't know how I feel right now, but I have a strong conviction that I want you back. I really do. Austin, are you crazy? We have people in our lives. Yes, I know. I mean, we can put up some magic and make it work. Austin, I am not interested in a few days or a few weeks affair with you. Who's talking about a few days, few weeks affair? I'm talking about getting my life back with you and Kendra in it. You want us back? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Why not? <sighs> Ever since Kendra started coming over, it was then I realized that I was a fool to let you go in the first place. I shouldn't have allowed that happen. What about Chelsea? Do you love her? <sighs> Honestly, Chelsea is an amazing woman. But she doesn't have the allure and vibes that you have. And that was what made me realize that it's you I truly loved and still love. Look, Nancy, it's okay if you don't feel the same way I feel. I promise I'll walk away and I'll never say I love you again. It's okay, it's fine. Same place, same page, same prayers, just a different day, same people, same story, same little girl. Right here in the middle, every day the same struggle. Though I may be feeble, I'm strong enough to pray. I know that you can hear me, listen to my silence. I know that you can see me, even in the darkness. I know that we Even in the midst of the storm oh. I pray, I pray, and I hope Nancy, how dare you? Are you out of your mind? Did you see that coming? Did he force you? Because I know what I saw. Did he force you? I'm sorry. Nancy, how could you? What have I not done to prove how much I love you? What have I not done? I took all the mockery, all the insults from my friends and family. Why? Because I took in a divorcee. I took you in, I loved you, I showed you love, I took your daughter as mine. How far should I go to show you the extent of my love? How? And this is how you pay me back? To kiss a man right outside my door? God, I can't believe this. Wait. Really? You love me? You gave me this ring 
and promised to marry me within two months. It's been one year I've been wearing this ring like a lot of the rings. And you say you love me. Are you for real? What am I supposed to do? So disappointed in you, Nancy. I'm happy for one thing. I'm glad I took my time. I'm glad I took my time. So this is it. This is this is what it would have been for me. Huh? I engaged you, I took my time to weigh you, and this is it? Disappointed. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I pray. Oh, I pray. And I hope for some miracle. I believe that it's only just a matter of time. I know that you can hear me and listen to my Hey, what's going on? Austin. Daddy. Yes, my dear. I don't want to tell me what's going on. Because mommy is the only one who knows how to say this kind of things. What type of thing? Honey. Sweetheart, let mommy tell me. Okay? Okay. Is she coming? Well, I don't know yet. But um, you know what? Settle in first. Make yourself comfortable. And I'm sure she will call you soon. Are you okay? What? Which hotel? Did he ask you to leave? You know what, let me try and see him and talk to him. I was the one who came to his house. Nancy, listen, listen. I was the one who kissed you. It's all my fault. Let me take responsibility for this. Okay. Settle in and well, let me know. Chelsea, I can explain. Okay, explain. What? No explanation? 
You're having an affair with your ex-wife and you have nothing to say. No, 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 I'm not having an affair with her. I... I just kissed her. What is the difference? No, no, no. There's a difference between an affair and a kiss. So you never really got over her? All this fight about Kenja was just your way of keeping a piece of her, right? It's it's not what you think. I just feel... Oh, see, you know what? I hope she's everything you want. Same place. Same page. Same prayer. Just a different day. Same people. Same story. Same little girl. Just another day. Right here in the middle. Every day the same struggle. Though I may be feeble, I'm strong enough to pray. Baby girl, how are you? I'm fine. Mm -mm. What are you reading? Uh, um, Austin, can you please give us a moment alone? Okay. Okay, let's see. What are you reading? Uncle Ray is angry with me. We got into a fight. Um, what did you do? Um, you know, um, after I told your dad that um, I couldn't have kids anymore, and uh, you know he knew that I wanted to have so many. Oh, I remember you said you always wanted a house full of kids. Yes, baby. <laughs> yes. Yes, so, you know, your dad came over to see me. And we were we we're talking about it. And whilst talking, um, his lips touched mine and we... <clears throat> you mean he kissed you? Um, I, I believe that's what I'm trying to say, yes. Did you kiss him back? Um, I did. I, yeah. And Uncle Ray saw you? Yes, yes, Kendra. And that's why he's furious. He's really angry with me. <laughs> so, why are you smiling like that? Are you and Daddy liking each other? Why would you ask that? Well, because Auntie Chelsea moved out of the house and you don't have Uncle Ray anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this girl. Baby girl, come here. Come. Come. Come to my. Kendra. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to start having thoughts that your dad and I are getting back together. Okay? We are adults and there are still a lot of things that we need to sort out. Mm. Alright? Okay. Okay. That's my girl. So, are you going to be here for a while? Yes. Yes. Yay! I'm going to be here. Your dad <laughs> insisted that I leave the hotel and come and stay with you guys. So, Yay! <laughs> I'm here. I can't wait for you to cook for me. Uh, of course, I know. Now I have to cook for you. I can't wait for you to eat my food too. <laughs> what did you eat today? <laughs> what are you doing? 
Please don't tell me you want to cook. <laughs> I just hope I don't have to. As a matter of fact, I'm even confused. I don't know what I, I don't even know what to do or stuff. What to stuff. It's okay. I'll cook. Kendra wants me to make her a very special meal. <laughs> Girl, which yeah. reads my mind. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Nancy. Yeah. I'm sorry about it. I'm sorry about Chelsea. Um, you know what? I'm happy. Believe me, I am. I know how stable you've always wanted your life to be. But the me before never allowed that. Messed it up. But honestly, I'm ready to give it whatever it takes right now. Yes. Austin, I want to take this slow, please. Same place. Um, I understand. You can take all the time. Okay. Uh, you can stay with Kendra for tonight. I'll dust the other room tomorrow. Thank you. Just another day <sighs> Right here in the middle Every day the same struggle okay. Though I may be feeble I'm strong yeah. enough to pray You don't have to be this close to say it. <laughs> don't. I'm not ready for this. Okay. 
notice that. All the same thing for them, yeah. What? Let's see. I want to move on. Not without you. It's a good thing that we give ourselves time to get over our access. And now I am ready. And all I want is you. If Kendra is all we have, then we're so blessed. Nancy, I know I didn't do well by you before, but from this moment onwards, you have all of me. Absolutely. And please marry me again. Yes, again. <laughs> I'll marry you. Same page, <laughs> same prayer. <laughs> just a different day. Oh my God. Same people, same story, I love same little girl, just another day. Right here in the middle, every day the same struggle, though I may feel strong enough to Okay. Listen to my silence. I know that you can see me. Even can just die. Mm -hmm. Interested. Uh, okay. The last page would yeah. Thank you, God. You have done it. Thank you. Yeah, and that's the most important prayer to her. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Dad? I want you both to have my diary because I believe God answered my prayers. <laughs> yes, indeed. He did. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, indeed. He answered your prayers, darling. And you, my baby girl. Oh. You are my house full of many kids. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. you. I 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 you. I